Hey there, fellow naturalists. This is Professor Iwigi and ah, Boots McGovern, and we are out here today in Centennial Woods, and we are going to be making things that spin. So today is the first of our three-part adventure on making toys and tools that spin using uh, nothing but things that we find out here in the woods. So let's go harvest our material, and then I'll show you how to make a buzzsaw. So Boots and I made our way down to Centennial Brook. This is a site of an old abandoned beaver pond. There were beavers that were living here last fall. They moved in and then they lived here through the winter and then they left in the spring as soon as it melted. Uh, they didn't stick around long because a bunch of glossy buckthorn and honeysuckles all along the margins of the river. So not prime habitat for them. Uh, one of the things they did leave behind though is this great little dam. The dam has some perfect materials that we can use for our handles and for the saw. So let's go ahead and dig through the dam, see what we find. All right, so we made our way down to the beaver dam and uh, the beavers have done all the work for us, which is perfect. So beavers are harvesting sticks to use uh, for two different purposes. The first is for food. So they'll eat the inner bark of uh, trees to get food during, particularly during the winter time. And the other use that they have for these sticks is for building dams such as this one. And so what they'll do is they'll take the sticks after they've chewed off the outer bark, they'll wedge it down into the mud facing upstream so that the water actually pushes the sticks down into the mud, anchoring it more firmly. So we're gonna grab this for the handle. It's the perfect size, fits right in my hand comfortably. So we'll gather this for the handle and then we want something a little bit larger for the saw. So it actually looks perfect. We've got right over here, uh, a nice elm that it had cut up. So we're gonna go ahead and harvest the uh, American elm and we'll use this for our saw. So it's starting to rain pretty good here. So I've already made a couple of cuts. So I cut our handles down and I'm pretty happy with uh, how they turned out because I've got uh, the beaver chewed ends on either side. So that'll be kind of a nice little feature. So I've got our handles all set uh, and then I cut the elm. And uh, what we're looking for is, it doesn't really matter again for size, uh, I don't want to give the impression that materials really matter all that much for this. There have been buzz saws that are found all the way back in the archaeological record, and they're made out of everything from buttons that you find on your jacket to uh, birch bark to cardboard to um, wood discs. So everything can work. So the purpose with all of these activities is to experiment with the materials and through experiment to connect to the landscape and also to better understand the things that you're working with. So for the elm, uh, the elm is probably, I don't know, about two and a half, uh, three inches across. That'll be perfect. And then we don't want it to be too thick because uh, we want it to be able to spin pretty fast. So we'll cut it about a quarter inch in thickness and that'll be our little disc. All right, so we've got all of our materials and we're gonna go ahead and drill our holes and we're gonna drill our holes, uh, two holes in everything. So um, yeah, I wound up actually grabbing uh, an extra disc I grabbed box elder so we have all of our materials here we've got uh, a disc or the saw uh, we've got our two handles and then we've got our string that will connect these so our string is going to get looped through everything so we'll have two holes in all of our different pieces here you want the holes maybe offset about a half inch um, or so but again experiment 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 so we'll go ahead and drill them and then uh, yeah we'll string the loop through we're on to our last step here. So we've got our two handles and we've got our uh, saw in the middle and then we've got a string about three feet long or so. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide it through all of the different pieces um, and yeah, and then we'll tie a square knot on one end of it. So uh, we'll go ahead and thread those through. And that will complete our buzz saw. There we have it. All right, so our buzz saws are done. I wound up swapping out the uh, cotton rope for some artificial sinew that I found was holding up just a little bit better under the stress of the buzz saw. Um, so I've got three different buzz saws here with three different lengths. Um, so we can go ahead and compare and see how the different sounds compare for the different lengths. So let's go ahead and give each one a shot. We'll see how they sound. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the Crow's Path YouTube channel for more how-to videos on fun things to make while you're out in the woods. Thanks and enjoy.